Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Welcome back. It's 6-11, and of course, December was the warmest on record in Eau Claire and a lot of locations, actually, uh, across the upper Midwest. But for the start of January, while things are above average, it's still looking a little bit more December slash January-like as a lot of temperatures be hanging out around the freezing point, more 30s as opposed to the 40s and 50s that we saw quite a bit of throughout December, of course. Now, cloud cover going to dominate over the next couple of days. For the time being, we do have a mainly clear sky, but those clouds roll in later this morning. Could give way to a few flurries, some very light snow showers, but moisture content aloft isn't exactly impressive, so that would keep things on the lighter side. And then by Thursday, we'll have a quick return of some sunshine before more clouds roll in to take us into the first full weekend of January, which again will lead to more chances at some snow showers. But for this morning, we'll have those clouds roll back in, keeping us mostly in the mid to upper 20s through a good portion of the morning, sitting at 23 degrees right now in Eau Claire. We did bottom out at 20, so we've rebounded fairly nicely. Most of us across the state in the lower 20s as well. Winds are starting to take on more of a westerly flow. They were more out of the southwest early on. And later this afternoon, again, they'll take on more of a northwesterly flow. For the time being, as mentioned, we have that mainly clear sky, but clouds now starting to roll in towards far northwestern parts of Wisconsin. We'll see those rolling in later on. But looking at our upper level flow, remember for December, remember for December, that rhymed, we did have that uh, very large upper ridge in play that brought us those mild temperatures. But now we have that polar jet stream just to our north. Now it is keeping that bitter cold Arctic air towards central and northern Canada, but we are starting to see that track a little further towards the south. So that's why we're still staying slightly above average, but we're cooler than we were through December. We don't have that upper ridging in place like we did. Cloud cover again dominates for today. Couple chances at some flurries. We'll keep those clouds through tonight. Even some light snow showers are possible, of course. And we'll start off in the clouds for tomorrow. A little bit of a breeze likely developing. But then by tomorrow, towards the latter half of the afternoon, early evening time frame, that's where we'll start to see those clouds move on out, staying mainly clear into Thursday morning. And again, leading to some sunshine with a few intervals of some thin clouds along the way as well. For today, staying mostly around the low 30s. We have been warming up through the overnight, of course, but most of the afternoon and most of the evening, in fact, staying in the upper 20s and low 30s as we bottom out around 27 degrees later on tonight. Next couple of days, right around the upper 20s, low 30s, staying mostly dry aside from those slight chances at some flurries, but then better chances at some snow showers take us into the weekend, possibly looking at some light accumulations out of this. But again, a number of factors can change between now and then. Now for a Sunshine Award, Summer Smith would like to nominate David Rail and says he is very active in the Chippewa Falls business community and as a member of many organizations that promote and enhance the quality of life in the Chippewa Valley. He is a 2013 graduate, graduate of the Chippewa Falls Fire Department Citizens Academy. David and his family are active outdoorsmen and enjoy hunting, fishing, and camping together. David is a very kind and giving man. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.